network. Al Jazeera's Gaza office chief Wael al Dada's wife, son, daughter and grandson were killed on an Israeli airstrike on October 25 while al Dadu. Al Jazeera became a stable face of the Newstime News from Gaza for Arab viewers. However, on Wednesday night, strikes strikes covered from ground all day. Young son, daughter and grandson and other eight members of extended family. Work his work, he turn. Al Jazeera, a news channel of Qataria, where Dadudu worked, said that the journalist's family was killed in an Israeli strike in the Nusrat refugee camp. Al Jazeera Arabic's senior White House correspondent Wajd Wakfi said in an article on social media, Platform X, without knowing that some family members were among the dead in Ng of Israel. He said, Al Jazeera Media Network said that network strongly condemned the random targeting and killing of innocent civilians in Gaza, which led to loss of Wael al Dada's family and countless others. The Israeli Defense Forces said that aims for military targets in the Gaza Strip. Strikes for military targets are subject to the relevant provisions of international law including taking applicable measures to reduce civilian losses. On Wednesday, Dadorts Al Jazeera broadcast video while walking in halls of Al-Aqsa Martyrs Hospital on press vest. He was besieged by members of press and guided press. He threw his arms and crouched to embrace his son Mahmoud's body. Da Dadider said in a video published by Al Jazeera crying and touching his son's face. Outlet reported that he wanted to be a journalist like his son's father. Other SNS showed that his seven-year-old daughter Sham, who is bloody, held her body. Al Jazeera added that some of the other family members were treated in the hospital and that his son Yahia had an emergency procedure in a hospital corridor. Dada's family left northern Gaza after ordering Israel to leave the region in front and expected place of invasion region. Al Jazeera correspondent, Yavna El Said, said that it was a, heartbreaking, to report Dado's family and see how broken it is. Weil was always a strong man. El El Said said. Other journalists spread while notifying the of Dado's family members. Last week, the Israeli government approved an emergency regulations that can allow Al Jazeera to close its local offices on the basis of damaging national security. In an interview with the exit only hours later after learning that his family had been killed, Dado said, Nobody is not safe from the aggression and betrayal of occupation. And in his interview, Dadert seemed determined to continue to publish what happened in Gaza. When we perform our duties, we do it to end with high professionalism in middle of bodies and wounded and in middle of destruction, he said. Marwan Bashara, a senior political analyst in Al Jazeera, said that the channel, who has worked as an Al Jazeera journalist for about 20 years, said that, lived in the midst of Dia.